Good evening, morning, afternoon. How are you doing, Bambi? Welcome in. Finally deciding and demanding of myself that I sit down and relax. It's not like I haven't been relaxing at all. I will just give a quick PSA, the note is on the screen, but I have been working full time, which is unfortunately it stopped me from being out of stream. Not the end of the world. Uh the end of the world part comes in because I haven't been sleeping that well. And as a result, going to bed earlier and waking up later, that's what's killing my day and my spare time. Not been the job. I am looking into getting my back fixed. Long st Whoa. So I could go through the full story from start to finish. If you remember, at the start of the year, I went to hospital with my creatitis. I didn't stream much through March, August. Um, because most of that time I was absolutely bedridden. What I didn't realise at that time, switching between being locked in an armchair, unable to move, going to a hospital bed, unable to move, coming back home to the armchair, and then back to the hospital, and then back to the chair, um, I spent quite a lot of time lying down, not moving. What has happened now is that after I've got back into the workforce, having eight hours a day, five days a week, my shoulders and neck have reminded me that they exist, and that they need exercise and stretching, and they've been neglected for the first half of the year which has been hitting me in the sleep pattern quite horribly. No matter how early I go to sleep, I'm not getting enough. So my compromise now going forward is going to be, well, if I can't get enough sleep anyway, I'm going to sit aside five or six hours a night and relax. Because I lose anyway. I go to bed late, wake up tired, no matter what. So, you know what, I might as well just come back and hang out with you guys for a couple of hours a night. Because at least then, I have something to look forward to at the end of the day instead of just going to bed. <laughs> but, I hope everyone's been well. I have been well. All things aside, my neck, my shoulders and everything torturing me. All of that aside, I have been well. Being properly active again has been refreshing. Because, like I said, I spent the first half of the year in a hospital bed, which wasn't exactly rewarding or a good time. So, it's good to be out and about doing things actively. It hit at an inconvenient time for me, but sometimes that happens and you deal with it. And this is me dealing with it. How has everyone been? Humankind has industrialized much of the solar system. Earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay. In orbit, a new breed of worker has emerged. The shipbreaker. Labor is extremely dangerous. But for a select few, the hazard pay is worth the risk. Pave the way to the Galaxy program. Update your application status. 
Greetings, citizen LF2911805. Congratulations! You have been accepted into Lynx Corporation's pioneering Pave the Way to the Galaxy program. Your selection was based on above average physical and cognitive ability. This game is very loud. You are assigned to Salvage Station 42, Designation Morrigan. Demonstrate the ability to build and grow a profitable operation and a number of exciting opportunities await you. Remember, employment in the program is at the sole discretion of Lynx Corporation and can be revoked at any time. Acts of malice or insubordination will not be tolerated. Upon signing this form, please proceed immediately to the nearest Lynx Corporation shuttle hub for transport to the worksite. Elected revival package. No revival, spares none, spare fee zero. Ooh, it's free. Mm -hmm. Um, let's have a look. Milk preference. Chicken, plastic free, vegetarian, or entomotarian. They don't explain it, but I would rather not eat plastic. Please agree to each statement. I have no criminal record in the Terran or Martian zones. A record in the Jovian frontier is acceptable. I am not a member of, and have never associated with, a workers' union or other labour interest. I have completed my annual medical exam and have been cleared of having McCullough's lung. I have no commercial or real estate interests on Luna, in the asteroid belt, or in the nation state of Arizona. The nation state? I will bring a positive attitude and problem solving mindset to work every day. I understand and accept the health risks associated with long term exposure to a Vanderwall's field. I will vote for Chancellor Chong Jing in the Pan American Senate election. Terms and conditions. He's ready for some light reading. This agreement is provisioned by the following terms and conditions. Employee understands that they must travel to Link's Shadows Hub for transit to the worksite no more than 12 hours after signing this contract. Employees' physical mental fitness will be reassessed before boarding the shuttle. There's all costs associated with transit from the employee's home to the shuttle hub are the employee's responsibility and will not be reimbursed. This agreement includes enrollment in the Link's Employment Financial Relief Program to accommodate the costs associated with employee onboarding as well as the recurring costs associated with the performance of the employee's role. A full breakdown of these costs will be provided to the employee following onboarding at the worksite. Hmm. 12 hours after signing the contract. Ooh, skip training. You acknowledge you have the opportunity to discuss this matter with and obtain advice from your private attorney, have had sufficient time to, and have carefully read and fully understand all previous provisions in this agreement, and are knowingly and voluntarily entering into this agreement. I know there are a lot of contracts that are not legally able to be upheld, but I feel like 12 hours from signing to onboarding, and also you acknowledge you have had the sufficient time to carefully read and talk through with the, with the attorney, might be contradictory. Yes, I even read fake terms and conditions.
steps into the yard to earn his wages working hard. I pray to the stars in heaven above to return my daddy to those he loves. If there comes a time when he and death meet, bless the next cutter that takes his seat. We are alive. resources, a brighter future. It's here where hard workers like you, the backbone of civilization, will help us pave the way to the galaxy. I'm Calicia Rye Paulson, president of Lynx Corporation's Salvage Division. When my great-great-grandfather Exeter founded Lynx, he foresaw a remarkable opportunity among the stars. His vision eventually brought us the rail gates. Now spanning all the way to Jupiter, these are the veins connecting all of modern civilization. And the people flowing through them are its lifeblood. The rail gates reinvigorated humanity and are key to our continued progress. You've been selected from among thousands of candidates to join the Lynx family. This is more than just a job, it's an opportunity to be part of the largest, most successful, and most pioneering company in human history. Your dream may be to forge your own destiny one day. Well, work hard, heed your superiors, believe in the Lynx vision. Do this, and you too will get your chance. Your first step is to join our Ever Work program, the greatest gift we give our employees, turning death into an ongoing opportunity for learning and growth. With Lynx, death is a fresh start. Good luck. Welcome in, Jonathan. Thank you for paying your tithe to the Bucky Empire. I haven't even checked if Bouncer is working today. I saw you tried out Bits and Bobs the other day. I'm really looking forward to that game, actually. I have not played Rhythm Heaven in such a long time, and they have nailed the feel of it. I am absolutely ecstatic. But they don't have a release date! I'm so sad. I just want to play more of it. I know stuff like that has to be really hard to make, though, but I little part of me is hoping that there's a bit more than what the shelves in the demo show because it looks like there's going to be three levels and then probably a um what do they call them in rhythm heaven it mashed all three together you had to do like an encore performance um, but there were only like four or five shelves I mean, still if it gets super complex and ends up being trickier down the road then it's, it's still got a lot of replay value as it is It is a bit kiddy, but I, I don't mind it. Rhythm games have been a few 
few and far between that I feel like so few of them nail it. And even then, there's not a lot to pick from, <laughs> especially spread it between the genres of music and gameplay, that is. Thank you for paying your tithe for the Bucky Empire, I'm crazy. Video observation complete. To finalize onboarding, your genetic sequence will now be extracted for use with the Lynx Everwork Asset Replacement Program. Don't worry, pain levels during extraction are largely tolerable. Ah, Please note, as outlined in section 31 of your employment agreement, the process of genetic extraction will oh. destroy your original body. Beginning extraction now. That's right. I forgot, even though I didn't actually purchase any revives, I still signed up to the program. Right. On tracks! That's tricky. Thank you. Beginning spare generation. So I didn't pay for any of these revives, but I'm still in the program. Good. Okay. I guess I get only one. First one's free? No, it's not free. <laughs> but at least I get one. Congratulations! It is now safe to die. No, it isn't. I didn't pay for any revives. What have I paid for? That's hundred. That's hundred thousand. That's hundred million. So I'm paying seven hundred and twenty seven eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Or my genetic backup and refrigeration of biomaterial for a service I'm not paying to use. That's like majority of my fee! You could have saved me a bit of money just by not backing me up. <sighs> Alright, I actually have some food. I was lazy, I got takeout on the way home tonight. But I have a couple of fries left over. Hmm. Shipbreaker 9346-52. Lynx would like to share the following inspirational message. Make the most of your shift by fanning the tiny sparks of effort into flames of profitability. Hmm. Fire hazards. I really nice. Ooh! Complete the tutorial. That was easy. Cutter. Welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for yourself and a couple of other shipbreakers in this region. And welcome to your new home. There's everything you need. This is officially called a ready-made long-term employee habitation something or other. Around here, we just call it your hab. All right, let's start a new ship and pick your first ship to work on. Can do, boss. What do we have? The Valentine Mark 9. 
29 tons pays out 5 million. Oh, about the same. Pays out less. 5.4. The weight and price difference, there's no real benefit to picking any of these. Queen of Smith. Oh, it's such a shame you pay the least. Oh, no, I have to pick Swift Swordfish with a name like that. Off we go. Fun fact. Hauntings are not covered under the Lynx insurance plan. What's a haunting? What do they mean? She's all yours, Cutter. Now try to remember. Nanocarbon goes in the processor. Aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start knocking out that debt of yours. Okay. Your primary goal is to get to the next rank. Good luck out there, Cutter. We were out. Perch? What is that? Is that a forklift? I should have carried the momentum around. Where are you going? Why are you so heavy? Atomic damage detected. Always use Link's branded repair kit. Why are you so heavy? gone jank on me that was actually like it came out towards me fine i wasn't having momentum issues and then it just magnetized away from the ship to the point that it dragged me with it after i'd successfully pulled it out Okay, look, I'm gonna start by saying this game isn't perfect. I've had physics issues with it before, but usually not hey, that Carter. horrible. Welcome aboard. The name's Weaver. I'm the foreman for you. Usually the physics issues are just oh game randomly thinks physics should have happened that clearly should not have been crushed. Lena <sighs> Smith is still there. Around here, we just call it your half. All right, let's start a new ship. Astria. Like I, I physically could not move it once I'd got it out of the ship. It was like it was immune to any pull. She's all yours, Cutter. Now try to remember: nanocarbon goes in the processor, aluminum goes in the furnace. Try to salvage the entire ship if you can. We call it. Using the whole buffalo. You'll hit your certs faster that way and start Heck knocking too. out that dead of you. I don't want to do that too often. Okay. But when the game the literally just won't let me pull that item, rank. that's hard to fight Good against. Good luck out there, Cutter. We were out. Like you'll see. Ooh, which way am I facing? Oh, I'm upside down. You'll see. Very regular play that the game normally is pretty okay. In regards to physics, at least. 
has to be. Most of the gameplay loop is entirely based around physics. But, as with something so tricky to nail, you're gonna have hiccups in the system. Sometimes things fall apart. Hopefully I can have that one and then have a nice day. Because I have been enjoying this game a fair bit. We're facing up again. My sense of direction is already getting whack. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Object processed. Transferring credits. Rich, what do we got on here? Nothing? The ship apart. Heathers? No. Hey, Carter. I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your O2 stat. We were out. Don't get caught. Go around. Thank you. So heavy.
Seats. I should get the floor out. Pixel hunt for some of these lights. Salvage secured. Applying credits. Oop. I let go before I shot. I'm back. What else do we have? Salvage Is that secured. it? Account credit applied. Keeping the bearings directionally in this game is quite tricky. It's not hard to navigate, it's actually quite fluid in its navigation around ships. You don't have to know which way is up, you just have to know which way you need to go. And the fluidity of the movement is quite nice. Valuable object accepted for um, there's the airlock. Get in there and start cutting the ship apart. gonna hit it. Ooh, just. Airlocks are worth a lot of money. Don't want to fry it. Is the airlock free? This would be... Should be the starboard side of the ship free. Let's have a look. Yep. Yeah. Go. Where'd the light fixture go? Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Is the window cut, shall we? Control. You're pressing the wrong buttons. All right, Cutter. You got about five minutes to fill your boot. Five minutes left. We were. Gonna blow a fuse. A fuse worth zero dollars, by the way. Who designed that? I think I'm going to be doing this in Blue, time left call. remaining. Trust me on this one. We were out. There we go.
<gasps> what do we have left? There's no oxygen canister in there, so I'm actually gonna have to go back to shuttle. It's gonna hurt time. Oh, three minutes left. I'm gonna cut this side up. door on there. Doesn't look like it. Having a parts in is not easy. Your dash stream while I'm at work, the nerves. Ah, I got fed up. How many days in a row not streaming? And I figure if I'm not gonna be sleeping properly anyway, I might as well stream, damn it. Time is winding down, Cutter. Dig deep, let's finish strong. One. Don't go in the furnace. You can push easier if you rotate. It's probably standard physics, but where are we? I don't have tethers. Ah, oh, you. I've got fourteen seconds. There is no way. It's too heavy. I can't cut and move that in 10 seconds. What a letdown! So close and yet so far. And sadly, that means we have half a mirror left on the ship. We've hit all of our goals. We could write the rest of the ship off and say screw you. I like, I have so tempted just to say screw you i do not want the other four hundred thousand dollars because that wastes a whole day uh, i didn't even salvage any of the tech in there either there was a couple of repair kits uh, fine four hundred thousand dollars what's the big deal To be that rich to say F you to 400k? Nah, it's just the economies in the gutter. 400k barely buys you a loaf of bread. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Today's weather report, clear and sunny, with a high of minus 270 degrees. Nice. Is that Calvin? Could you imagine? <laughs> You'll see my invoice shortly. So, rent is 50,000. Mm, 
Okay, maybe 400k buys a bit more than a loaf of bread. If rent's 50k... Maybe 400,000 isn't so bad, but I'm still... I'm writing it off. I got so close to finishing that job. 90% of the way there, I am not going back out for such a little payout. How are you, Blue? Besides, we hit all our goals. As far as the company's concerned, that is literally top tier payout. That's as good as it gets. What do we have? 33 tons for 9 million. I feel like that's going to be the winner. Everything else weighs as much. Why would I not take same weight better pay? bring you into the audio if you'd like to chat. I did hear you join the call earlier. Bring your dog treat back. Where'd I put the cookie? There's the cookie. Cutter, it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce you to the rest of the crew in our sector. Sound off, everyone. Hey, Rook. Me and Blue. I was the worm until you showed up. So thank you. Now I get to do the hazing. What are you talking about? We don't do that. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Don't listen to her. I'm the... <laughs> Kai! Your mic's still messed up. <laughs> How about now? Better. Oh, uh -oh. I'm what Kaido. Refreshed. Kai. Mike's still busted, huh? Oh, yeah. Still waiting on the wreck. Yeah. Uh, my overlays refreshed. Heaven forbid they functional gear. I'm sure they're working on it as fast as they can. Cutter, I added you to the sector comms channel. It can get lonely out here. Helps to check in with each other from time to time. All right. Up, chin wagon. Let's get back to it. We were out. Goodbye. Bye. Later, Rook. Is that one attached internally? Or just locked? It's locked. thruster yet? No thruster yet. Makes things nice and easy. Electricity! Is it live? I don't see any power cell. I also don't your way into the other bay. Is it through the front?
thing connecting at this point is the cables. There we go. Where those light fixtures go. Window out. I did get the window out. That was the third one. Missed. What happened here? Deposit accepted. Oh. Warning. Fuel levels are low. I see you only have stuttering. Should I be wired? That's awkward. Shouldn't be pulling on that one. In you go. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Valuable object. Am I worried? Credits deposited. With how little I stream, the answer is not really enough. It would be nice not to be stuttering, but I know this game is kind of intense. Cut off the internals. I am not doing this one in a single shift, that's for sure. We're not even at the second mark. Canisters in here. Why not? Processor, I don't want you yet.
Careful not to hit myself in the face of any of these. Five minutes left, Cutter. How you use them is entirely up to you. We were out. Salvage secured. Account applied. Why is there a barge thing in here? Why does it have to be attached is a better question. Rip these things off. I'm not holding onto that. And did hit me in the face. Your equipment durability is dropped. Keep an eye on it. You don't want to be dangling in the wind. Uh. See it happening. Get on back to the hab. Use a repair kit to fix them up. We're not doing this in a single shift anyway. Thrust the fuel to them. We can come back and use the oxygen kit tomorrow. Still not disconnected. No way I'm doing that in a minute 40. Although I got further than I thought I would. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. Even the roof isn't cut off yet. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credits. There's a whole bay there, too. Credits awarded. Shift's almost done in the middle, Cutter. One minute left. Salvage registered. Where did that dog Transfer panel go? Salvage deposit 
missing a door panel that I picked up. There you are. I found stuff, didn't it? No, I didn't. Nice. You have plus ultra? Oh, well, ten seconds left. Give me the cookies. Extra crispy. Seventy percent of the way there. This time with two point three million left over. So not the worst effort that Oh yeah, I got the snickles. Good morning, cutter nine three four six dash fifty two. Do you know what that means? repair which is nice um oh i forgot i'm just banking back out we go second day on the job this time section is just left floating? Why? That's lazy. Da -da -da. Oh, we've got cables and everything here, don't we? I did fry some cables there. something on that structure apparently.
I go in the furnace. Valuable object accepted for processing. What's your problem? Hey, that was all so very quiet. I don't know why this piece wouldn't move though. What are you attached to? You're gonna physics out and kill me, aren't you? Why are you too heavy? It's a piece that shouldn't weigh that much. Like I was saying about the physics being a little jank. Up to you. Surely this thing why it weighs so much. Wow, that weighed a lot, apparently. <laughs> Scrap cutting metal is enough to help me fling it into this thing. Right, one last check Warning. inside. Oxygen reserves low. Links recommend regular gentle exercise to increase blood oxygen levels. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I still don't have tethers. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transfer. Hmm. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. What are you? Oh, you have the scrap I cut off. Sucks I don't have tethers. I think I don't think I don't think I can cut that. I mean I know I can, it's gonna destroy this piece along here though. Always the most. Maybe I can cut on the inside. Oh, hang on. Get it in there. This thing is still too heavy. Hey, hey, too high.
That thing weighs a lot. Oh well. Um, I'll do it this way. Can you? Material deposited. Okay. Apparently, a door went in there with it. bit of damage. Finishing early. <sighs> A couple of doors got destroyed there. Not the best. Not bad work though. Oh, the shoulders. A Delta Class 6 mod. Okay, bye. A Delta Class mod. Class 6 modular sheer laser was developed via Shipbreaker's all purpose tool. Hello, Shipbreaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. No, I'd rather just go to bed. I would rather just go to bed. I can't even upgrade anything. <sighs> hey, Rook. I was thinking our crew should crack some beer sometime. You know? Shoot the breeze, fantasize about a debt-free life and all that. <laughs> Not that that's gonna happen anytime soon. Like, Weaver's been at this for years. Twenty, maybe? I was just getting kicked out of grade school when he started. <laughs> Dee Dee sends most of her money home. Goes through length, of course, with huge transfer fees. And Kaido, well, look. Kai's great. He just hasn't really taken to the work. Lynx calls him a low earner. As for me, I'm trying to get there as fast as I can. I just need enough to get me one of those mining skiffs. You know, for belt running. Still so many rich rocks along the frontier line. Eventually want to hire some friends from back home. Oh, the Earth platforms. Around Mars? Good people. But work's hard to find there. Hmm. Don't know when that'll be, though. Just when I think I'm earning at a steady clip. There's another fine or fee. This job's fun as hell and all, but I got other plans. Maybe you do, too. Anyway, don't want to get a fine for tying up comms. Kidding! That's not a thing. I don't think. Either way, good luck, Rook. Lou out. Finally, I'm free. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. Nice. You're never free, you know this. Does it grind? Yeah, but I'm free to grind. 
grapple, grapple range, unlock tethers, durability drain rate. I'm gonna grab that. Unlock tethers. Give me max tether increase. I don't want range. Thrusters, don't want speed. Don't need that. Give me more oxygen. Give me... Give me range on my cutter. Why not? New ship? 12 million. 63 tons of mass. 13 million for 39 tons of mass? Sign me up. Less to cut, more pay. What? Is the catch that it's going to be pressurized? It's not pressurized. It's powered. Fried an antenna. Miss cut. Decays of days rent. You need to go in the furnace now, apparently. Glad I caught you. That's dangerous. I can put my cutter away before I'm finished cutting. just have the tube. Oh, this is powered, which means we probably still have a thruster intact at the back of the ship. Let's go have a look. Bounced. Gimme. Don't knock the reactor. Array. Right. So I think we're good to start cutting. Let's not get ourselves killed playing with a reactor and fire. is loose. Come with me. That's a little preemptive, but 
Off you go. Off you go. That was probably not a processor piece there for the housing Office unit, was it? No, no, we're fine. Credits awarded. Hello there. Hello there. Account credit applied. Welcome in, Isaac. How are you doing? Let me go get this thruster out. What are you up to today? Not the furnace. Not the furnace! Ah, busted. That's the second penalty and that one was actually a bit more expensive. My fault. I overcorrected too much and threw it in the wrong hole. You were learning Blender! I remember you posting about that the other day. How is your Blender experience going? I was also learning Blender um, before accidentally being employed. And gotta say, the amount of... I know Blender's not an art program, quote-unquote, but the amount of art programs that seem like they're designed by mathematicians is driving me insane. I'm not... What's the airlock? How do I get into the bay? There we go. We've still got stuff holding us in place, and that's a live wire. We still have power. Pulled out the reactor. There you are. Power cell. We still have power? Four power cells. Still have power! How many power cells are we hiding? Oh, four. No? I'm being gaslit. How many power cells? I thought the power cells were only on one side, because the other side had an airlock. No, apparently not. Is that it? We're out of power! Lovely. Now the wires can be cut. I won't say I haven't enjoyed my time with Blender, personally. It's just that I'm definitely not using Blender as it was designed to be used. What did I burn? Oh, okay. Careful here. Crap. There we go. Welcome to Mr. Oh. Oh. You can breathe fine. I should say hello to those who don't know me uh, because I haven't streamed in a hot minute. 
there may be some people who you haven't met me before. I might be popping in to say hi for the first time. So hello! My name is Boardbrain, and welcome to the mess that is my stream. You have chosen, or been chosen, to be witness to some of the most scuffed content this side of Twitch. Hope you enjoy your stay. A cable is next to the airlock has to be a fire risk. That should be this bit out though. There we go. Lovely. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Object processed. Da -da -da. Transferring credits. Da -da -da. You're not free. You are free. Kind of. Not free from each other. Morning. Wait, I stream? Five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Order um, the on you. I'll get back to you on that. I heard a rumor I used to stream daily. Credits awarded. Even on different platforms. <laughs> Sometimes. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Why is that not... Hello. We'll have to in a second. I'm on shift, damn it. I can't just check Discord willy nilly. So, what I make for you? Yeah. When it comes to making you hate me in ways you never thought you could? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wait till my shift is over before you ask me to check Discord, okay? Very well, very well. I will wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I cannot wait to see your reaction for making this. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I hit myself in the face so that I... I will check. <laughs> but I've got three minutes left on the clock. I actually think... I like to think that that's canonically three hours on the clock. <laughs> I love being creative. <coughs> there we go, there's a piece for you. So, you know how I have an embroidery machine, right? How what, sir? You know how I have an embroidery machine, right? Yeah. Alright, cool, that's it. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do not... Do not pulverize me, please. Oh, also don't hit me in the face. Thank you. What is keeping you connected? Oh, they can hear me. How's it going, guys? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maniacally loud. And you're actually bird gifts. chatting. <laughs> I am uh, using my art for creativity and goodness and wholesomeness. Definitely. Me, I'm feeling better. I'm not as sick as I was so I'm able to stream again. And yes, hello, Super. It has been a while. Mm. Oh! Let me get rid of that. Why are you so heavy? Because I'm fat. What is the problem? You should be moving. You are not connected by anything. There are no tethers, and yet... <coughs> ah, this is the bugginess that I was hoping to avoid. It hasn't happened that much. I'm gonna say that much, which makes it sound like it has happened. But no, genuinely, today has been the worst this game's ever been for physics bugs like this, where things get stuck. Lesson number one. In this game, if something gets stuck, do not yank it, because all of that pent-up physics is still in the game, just not moving. So if something gets stuck, it's actually just a nuclear bomb waiting to go off and you should probably just ignore it and pull the rest of the ship apart instead. Jesus Christ. Why 
did that chair go? Excuse me. This is your one minute warning cutter. Don't be a hero, all right? Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Uh, one minute warning. Oh, I launched the ship free of itself. Interesting. Will be about it, I think. Woo! So close. Halfway! We got paid five million and there's seven left. Alright, that's my shift over. So, what the saucy image is this? Texting you in here? space. <laughs> Sadly, I do have to run, but I'm glad I could catch. A stream. Good luck breaking them ships. And thank you for coming in. It's good to meet you on the other end of Twitch for once. <laughs> for as infrequently as I've been on Twitch lately, which I feel kind of bad about. Oh! Terrible news! In... well, okay. Good news. <laughs> Maybe. Terrible news for procrastinating. Twitter finally broke! I have refused to update it ever since the logo changed. I've had real Twitter. Actual Twitter Twitter. <laughs> Waiting for it. Don't drink oh, and Pepsi. Oh, drink oh, water and milk. Else your bones will be weak. Like the Skyrim. Oh, water is healthy. <laughs> but it's better drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, bitch. Oh, drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, bitch. Oh, drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, bitch. Oh, drink. Water, drink. Water, drink. Water, bitch. Don't want to make the mad god mad. Thank you for the hydrate. But yes, sad news for procrastinating. Twitter broke. I now, I think, have to update it so that it's no longer a blue icon with a bird on it. Which makes me sad. Now it needs to turn to the X symbol, which is, you know, raising a lot of red flags. Uh -huh. Okay, so you found a really old design idea I sent you, clearly. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Go on. Um... Mm hmm Yeah? Do you remember the design for Lost? Like, the, the, I, because I, I did have, like, a whole plan with that. Glad to hear that, don't update it, just delete it. I mean... No. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to update it. I want to fix it, but I don't want to delete it. Where else am I going to scream into the void? Tumblr? You. I mean, unironically, if look, all the times people have been saying Twitter's dying, Twitter's dying, join me on other competitor. Every single time I see people post about Twitter competitors, all I can think of is, yeah, I'm just going back to MySpace. So unironically, <laughs> if Twitter dies, you can find me on Tumblr and MySpace. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the 20 year old. Yeah, oh, probably also DeviantArt. That's another old god website. So my Scream Into the Void outlet will unironically be Tumblr, MySpace, and DeviantArt. That is official. And I will stand by that. I'm not signing up to another Twitter. Twitter is enough. We've already had one too many. I've never used Twitter. <laughs> Lies. Bird? No, I, I've never. I don't even have an account. It's everyone uses Twitter. I have not used Twitter. I assure you. MySpace was super <laughs> old. 
birdie. Who, hands, hands up in chat. Who here actually has or did have a MySpace account? I, I did. I'm still getting to my account. I, I, I don't know if I still have it, but I still I had a MySpace account. I followed Steve Vai on there and Boy in a Band. Okay, look, don't judge me. I'm not going to elaborate any further on that. We're making more money in the game. <laughs> oh, back to the question, Bird. Do you want a green hat or the orange hat? Okay, so... I will be right back. <laughs>
Here are male red wings feeding together in Florida, where they go for the winter. There's not a single female in this flock. The males arrive long before the females. return to the northern marshes where they raise their young. These flocks are a familiar sight during March and early April in most of the northern states in Canada. When the females arrive two or three weeks later, each decides which territory or which male she wants for the dog. Females are easily distinguished from males by their suit clothes and by their dull shoulders. When the males arrive on their nesting ground, the flocks scatter, and each male selects a small territory in the marsh. He drives the other males away and sings and displays his scarlet epaulets. Your 20 minute break. I'll surely be fine for that. Hello, ship breaker. You have one incoming transmission waiting. Howdy, Rook. So, this can be uh, an awkward subject, but you've probably noticed Lynx doesn't take great care of us. Up until maybe a hundred years ago, workers like us would sometimes form these groups called unions. They go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the company. They'd argue for better wages, safer work, decent hours, that kind of thing. Lynx was actually part of getting rid of them. But some of us are trying to bring it back. I can tell you're a good person and a hard worker. The company will use you up. It's just built that way. So I thought you might be interested in the union news group. There are new messages every couple of days. Read them, don't read them, trash them, whatever. Just keep it on the down low. The others don't know about it. Weaver and Dee are a bit too by the book. Kaido is just too anxious. Poor kid. But I wanted you to have the info. I was glad someone gave it to me when I was new. Okay, spiel over. <laughs> See you in the yard, Rook. Blue out. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. Hmm. I would. I haven't thought about that.
What did I miss? What's it like to work with animals? I always wanted to get into it. It's tough work, kiddo. Tougher than shipbreaking? Well, no. But, well, it's just different, I guess. Nothing quite like wrestling a calf. Whoa, that's so cool. Eris doesn't get fresh meat, just the big stuff. Yeah, even on Earth, it's only really for rich people. It was a pretty good job growing up, even if it was hard. It's not what it used to be. Huh. How so? Uh, Mr. Tucker, the owner, was about as useful as a steering wheel on a mule. No clue how to run around. Was mostly my family keeping things going. But Tucker cut corners too much. Raising cattle on Mars is just a damn tricky thing. So we ended up trying to keep them alive. Sounds fascinating. And also a little sad. So it wasn't pleasant near the end, kiddo. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I forgot where this the fuel was. I haven't burnt it, have I? As a patch kid. Credits 
Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Come on, I don't want to snap to the structure. It's gone. Shift done quickly. was close. Ooh. And ridiculously unnecessary. I have these things now. So we're just going to use them. Hang on. We're a different piece. We got everything off at least. Understand why video games think you run out of oxygen before you run out of oxygen. It's not hard to breathe when there's oxygen in the tank. But you don't instantly die. But your character acts like you're running out of oxygen before you clearly are. Like, I've run out of oxygen now! Sure! But why am I gasping for air before that point? Oxygen 
You have plenty of time. Like an actually realistic amount of time after oxygen hits zero to go get more oxygen. You can hold your breath for like a minute forty. So why does the character hyperventilate when you still have oxygen in the tank? Don't make sense. Welcome in. It's a light on the ceiling. Salvage deposit secured. Credit to Where did that go? If you're fixing to dot the I's and cross the T's, you got about five minutes to do it. Weaver out. We'll be fine, Weaver. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. I wish this grapple wasn't so picky. Oh, that's gone. It's not gone! It's probably gone. I'm not fighting for a bit of cable. Just because of that. Grapple let me down targeting. I don't know why it targets. This big structure of bay area should never be targeted over something in front of it. Especially not something from a ship. That's nonsensical to me. I don't want to grab onto a giant... ...immovable object. Except unless... Like, you could add a distance thing into it. Where the further away you are, the more priority the big object that doesn't move gets. Ironically, that would make sense, because the further away you are, the more likely you're floating away to a spot where you can't actually be recovered from. drag the opposite way to what I tell you. said to climatic I was gonna stream until I died because it's permadeath and I died randomly for no reason to a single burn despite single burns not being fatal the game is fun but holy shit do you die more often to Bugs and physics jank than anything else in this game. We haven't even got uh, health as low because of the O2 thing. That's fair enough. But 
the thing should still not have set on fire in the first place because the laser is not actually line of sight from the gun, it's line of sight from the camera. And the thing that set on fire was not in my face. I could see around it, so it should not have set on fire. And it did. Why? Because it just has a shitty hitbox. Oh, save's gone. Yeah, okay. That shit. Because, yeah, I was streaming until I died. And two and a half hours later, it's three in the morning. I don't really have a follow-up to that or any other thing to make it an... And, and not a non sequitur, because it is just now a non sequitur. Bye! We should raid out into someone. online. I don't know because I'm not signed into my account in Firefox. Welcome in, Gradgar. I hope you have a lovely night. I am going to go play more Shipbreaker, but yes, I said I would stream until I died, and I'm not starting another save. So we're going to raid out. That is the whole stream. like six hours to do an art stream. Ship of Fools is on sale. I'm getting distracted. If you die in the game, you die IRL. online. Someone must be online. It is... Skash Kitsune. Relomi is playing Valheim. Skash Kitsune is playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I could send you off to more Shipbreaker if anyone else is streaming it. It's me! Someone else who does not speak English. And a channel called Depressed Killing Time. It doesn't look like they're even streaming Shipbreaker. No, they're not. They are weirdly streaming Save the Diver. I recognize the HUD. So, Hard Space Shipbreaker is not gonna work.
We are gonna go say hello to Skash Kitsu. They are playing Horizon Zero Dawn. A lot of my people I've, I follow are from the Valheim community and they're all lovely people, so I would appreciate you saying hello. If you would like a raid message, we have some of those. If you would like a paid message, we have those. <laughs> Don't waste your money on those. For a hundred channel points though, you can get that gorgeous emote and take it with you anywhere for the next 24 hours. And the only thing you can't buy in channel points is animated emotes, sadly. And I do recommend picking up the emote. Of course I do, it's my emote. Go spam it, use it wherever you like. But for a hundred channel points, why not? Take it with you for another day. I will see everyone maybe tomorrow. Maybe I will actually try this again and not die. Let's see if we can get a four hour stream and not die in hard space tomorrow. Hey, okay? deal? I'll see everyone then. Bye.